ఓం శ్రీ లక్ష్మీ నరసింహాయ నమ వాల్మీకి రామాయణ అరణ్యకాండ చాప్టర్ నైన్టీన్ షూర్పణక అప్రైజ్ స్కారా ఆఫ్ ద సిచ్యువేషన్ సమరీ షూర్పణక నరేట్స్ హర్ వర్ఫుల్ స్టోరీ టు హర్ బ్రదర్ ఖారా బ్లేమింగ్ సీత ఇన్ పర్టికులర్ షీ వాంట్స్ ఖారా టు వేజ్ వార్ సో దట్ షీ కుడ్ డ్రింక్ సీతాస్ బ్లడ్ ఖారా ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అపీస్ ఇస్ సిస్టర్ సెన్స్ ఫోర్టీన్ డెమెన్స్ టు ఎలిమినేట్ రామా చాప్టర్ నైన్టీన్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ on seeing her who fell before him in a misshapen and blood soaked condition demon khara is all stood up and asked her rise up first tell me clearly putting away your flurry and fluster who disfigured your form in this way who for sport is poking his finger tip at a venomous fanged black cobra that has chanced in his close proximity but slouching down inoffensively who on plundering you is now heedless about his gulping a deadly poison or about his foolish bracing the noose of time around his own neck you are gifted with boldness and bravery a whimsical rover a guise changer by your wish a co-equal of terminator but to whom you have gone and by whom you are led into this kind of plight who is that kind of highly interpret warper either from gods or from celestials or from high soul sages who indeed rendered you shapeless indeed i do not find anyone who causes displeasure to me in this world even among divinities including the thousand eyed indra the controller of demon paka now i will take away the life of that miscreant with my arrows that are terminators of lives as a swan would drink milk to dreads even if it is mingled in water duly separating milk from water whose forthy blood is it that the earth wishes to cough when i cut off his crucial organs by my arrow and drop him dead in a combat whose body is it from which birds pressing around around gladly wish to bring flesh to pieces for eating when i slay him in war now when i haul him easily on the ground in a battle that villain will be unredeemable either by gods celestials evil spirits or by demons it will be apt of you to gather your sensitivity slowly and tell me as to which miscreant attacked and wor- worsted you in the forest thus khara spoke to shurpanaka on hearing this kind of words of a brother especially who is rancorous then shurpanaka spoke this words tearfully those two are in adulthood good looking gentle at greatly mighty eyes broad like lotuses dressed in jute cloths and deer skin subsistent on fruits and tubers composed sagacious and celibate and they are the sons of dashratha namely rama and lakshmana having all the aspects of kings they equal the kings of gandharvas celestials and i am ill disposed to differentiate whether they two are gods or demons i have seen curvaceous lady between those two a ripely beauty rich in comeliness adored with lots of ornaments owing to that woman i am led into this sort of situation together by those two as with an insecure female staying in the van of war i wish to drink the forthy blood of that guileful sita along with that of those two rama and lakshmana when they are killed in war i shall drink her blood and also that of those two in war this being my prime longing let it be fulfilled by you thus wailed shurpanaka before her brother khara why she is saying like that khara vengefully summoned 14 great mighty demons that are similar to the terminator welding weapons and wearing jute cloths and deer skin two humans have got into ghastly forest of dandaka along with a woman of age thus khara is ordering the 14 demons you shall return to me only on killing those two and also the woman and their blood this sister of mine will drink o demons on going there swiftly stamp them out by your own vigor thus let the fanciful heartly desire of my sister be achieved on seeing you, you are finishing those two brothers flatly in a war she the sister of mine will be gladdened and then she will drink their blood in war amusingly 
In this way, when Kara ordered those 14 demons, they have gone to Panchavati along with Shurpanaka like black lotus clouds glided by gales. But then, though the night walkers welding sharp arrows have become ineffectual to trounce Rama like the wild elephant, which will become ineffectual to overcome the blazing uprising wildfire. Thus, this is the 19th chapter in Aranyakanda Valmiki Ramayana, the first epic poem of India. Sri Moolarama Vijayate Om Sri Krishnar Panamastu